Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. How are you this Tuesday? Answer right now. I'm waiting. I feel like I talk about myself too much. I know it's like the point of videos, but I want to hear your days going. Give me all the tea. If you have some drama right now, can I read it? Maybe like message it to me if you don't want to put it public, but I love reading what's going on in people's lives. And I think it's so cool, dude. Thinking about how everybody else has experienced this day. We all do it in such different ways. How fun is that? Anyways, I've already made my bed this morning. Today's going to be split up a little bit differently because I've changed my availability. Gym, I think in the morning because I have calls back to back from one to seven. So I'm not going to have time to go to the gym and I don't like going later on in the day. It just doesn't, I'm not an evening gym. I'm girly. I feel like at that point my mental energy is just not there. So I want to kind of capitalize off of what I can. But let's go for a little morning walk with sunlight before we start off so that we can know that we have at least some kind of circadian moment um, to start our day. So I feel really good. Cheers to that. That's my intro. Before we head out, I have been making this. For, usually I make it for pre-workout. I'm craving it. So I just want to show you my abomination, my banana abomination. Listen, it's peanut butter with a banana and then you put it in a tortilla, but I add salt. There's salt. This is such a long man salt stevia some honey and cinnamon all over that thing with some chunky peanut butter i'm gonna roll this up and then microwave it for some reason it's so good like, I'm, okay for some re it's literally banana like duh but i've been making it even when i don't like just because it's so delicious like you need this in your life you know what i'm saying i just wanted to show you this is what i'm gonna munch on usually i just go out and walk but i want to eat this and then have it digest a little bit because of the fat and the fiber content it's not the best pre-workout compared to if you were to like to just have a banana and then go right away sort of thing so i want to eat this before my walk so that my walk can kind of even if it's just a 15 minute moment help it digest a little bit before you go to the gym you see my mental math here but i just want to show you this is what i'm making you get your own little personal baseball bat. I just microwave this. And yes, this would be so good, like air fried, but I'm, I don't have the time for that. So this warm banana tube. Cheers to that. I feel like from Twilight, the baseball scene. And for portability purposes, yeah, you cute this, cut this up and make this into like cute little pinwheels. I'm just eating it like this. And I can go on my walk and talk to the birdies like this. You know, I'm not going to do that. Right. Does this count as being able to put cook with me in, in the title? <laughs> Assemble with me. I'm gonna keep it honest. It's gonna be a 10, 15 minute moment because it is muggy. I feel like I'm walking through netted air right now, walking through a web, but that's okay. The morning sunlight is what matters. We're not out here to feel the most comfortable, okay? And I feel very comfortable with that peanut butter, that, that wrap, you gotta make it. It's so good. I think it also reminds me when I was a kid, I ate that way more often than like PB and J. I would, I would way rather have a banana and peanut butter sandwich than a PB and J. I feel like that's just a more a childhood staple for myself. I don't know, so I'm just connected to my inner child, is what that means. Especially with school coming up and my vacations coming up next week, I changed my availability a little bit so that my mornings are typically when I'm going to try to live versus like mid-afternoon. Like my calls, they're more consolidated. They start from 12 or one to seven versus I'll have a morning chunk and an evening chunk. I'm trying it out to see how that impacts my workflow because I also learned on the Hooperman Lab podcast, you guys know the vibes, having like a straight flow is really good for your brain of just like getting shit done and feeling more accomplished. So I'm playing around with that, but that gives me time in the morning to get my lift, to get my things. I already sent all my client emails this morning. This is when I take my Instagram stories. Take what you need. If you guys follow my fitness Instagram, you should. I post on it very frequently. Today, I'm very blessed and grateful for booking out and for being busy and for needing to adjust my schedule. What a blessing that it's that full to where I need to make adjustments, you know? I always try to tap into that when I can because it's easy to just see your life as like these stressors. That's not what life is. Things are not good or bad. They just are what they are. And it's important to appreciate what makes you feel good and, and how far you've come, you know? And you can't do that if you don't take periods of appreciating that. And that can be through journaling. Like I, I talk about my morning walks, like they're like physically journaling because it is kind of that similar idea of just being out of your element. That's one of the reasons, by the way, that I want to get an Apple Watch. Not for my steps, but just because I don't want to lug around my phone. If I can just have something to where I can like look at my client texts if I need it, but I don't have to actually carry my phone. I feel like I would enjoy my walks a lot better because I would feel a lot more present because I don't have to hold anything. And yeah, you can get like a belt bag or like a vest. I don't want to have to do that. Well, that's too many steps. And and I don't like to wear clothes. If I could walk out here barefoot streaking, I would. So I'm not buying accessory like things to wear. No. All in all, just getting a little bit outside of my element, getting some fresh air, even if it's muggy air, it's still fresh. It's like the school lunch version of fresh, but it's still fresh. I think one thing I miss is my damn Italian dunkers, bitch. I would bust down. I think Italian dunkers were my favorite day with the marinara sauce. Ooh, I can like taste that right now. I think you can actually buy school, like frozen school food. I might do that. And I'm not kidding. What was your favorite school food? I always buy lunch. I was never one of the cool kids that packed in like elementary and middle school. I packed in high school when it was more like up to me. But when it came to actual school lunches, oh, Italian dunkers were so good. And especially recently, I have not been getting my steps. I know. I don't count them anyways, but I just know that I have not gotten them. So just having my 15 minutes, even if it's very small, 
it's never been about the numbers for me for any of it. It's just the habit of taking time with myself and also just a good start with positive momentum to my day. Outside of the gym, this is my only movement. I just take it pretty seriously. Not like seriously, I have to get it, but just that I really look forward to it. And it's a great addition and I'm grateful that my schedule is what it is to where I can do this. Because when I think back to when I was a merchandiser and I was getting up at 3.30 and I couldn't skip morning sunlight because it was dark outside. So I'm very grateful. My life is changing in the way that it has. Today we're getting ready for the gym. I'm not feeling too much makeup because I kind of feel like a glowy goddess. I'm just gonna do some eyebrows, I think, and under eye powder, maybe some blush to match the pinky vibes. I'm not sure. I'm so excited for vacation. I'm so excited. Nick and I are going to the beach. This is the first year I think that this is I haven't done a family vacation because just with finance stuff it didn't make sense. I assumed that this summer I just wasn't gonna get a vacation which is totally fine. That's such a privileged thing to not have. It's not a loss when the thing itself is a privilege sort of thing. I ended up meeting Nick this year uh, and so that's changed. I'm so grateful and excited for that. I've always grown up where vacations are a week long but low-key depending on where you go I think a solid five day. I've never gone for five days like specifically. It's usually a week and I think that's a really good amount of time and then we also timed it so that we're going from like a Thursday to a Tuesday so you don't leave you don't lose your whole week in terms of like work for his work and things like that it just made the most sense and it also is nice because I don't feel like I'm losing a whole week I it's only like half of a week at a time does that make sense I don't know mentally I'm really excited and I feel like sometimes when depending on where you go I feel like a week after like day six I'm like girl I'm ready to go home you know what I mean so I feel like five days is just a really good little trip little time together okay I don't mean to be gooey but I'm I'm just really excited to relax and to read. I'm reading um, Bell Jar right now by Sylvia Plath. I started it yesterday and I'm already a good like 50 pages through it and I don't want to finish it before the beach because I feel like that would be a really good book to read on the beach. Preserve my books. Do you guys have any really good book recommendations? Please, book talk, are you here? I need you, okay? I'm almost done with Crime and Punishment. I never ended up finishing it um, because I just wanted to start the Bell Jar and I got, so I started it. It is a really good book and I can see why it's very popular. I just really wanted to get to the Bell Jar so I started that one, whatever. I'm feeling doing like a shoulders and core day today. I can't explain that. That's just the vibe. I don't know. I haven't had a really solid core workout in a pretty good time. So I feel like that would just make me feel real good. Give me some positive momentum to flow into my day. I'm feeling banana high right now. This is my fit. This is the Impact, the Cutie. I need to know the names of these. Impact uh, bra. How freaking cute is that? And these are the Impact shorts. Um, I get a size medium and literally everything. I did order their bandeau that they just came out with, which will be in this vlog, my kind of unboxing of that. I should, probably now that I think about it, should have gotten a medium or a small in those because I don't have boobs, but I have lats. I don't really know how to do the mental math and sizing there. So I just get medium and everything. I've always been a medium girl. Five, seven ish, five, eight for reference. For hair, I think I'm gonna just keep it in this cutie little clip. Even though I know I'm gonna be shoulder pressing and that's gonna get annoying. We're gonna just cross that bridge when we get there. I have that light pink jacket, but I feel like, I don't know if it would go. But sometimes it is just nice to like be in your moment and then take off. Your it's not going to be that dramatic. All right, I did end up putting on the jacket. I'm still learning and educating myself on the phases of like the cycle because I don't know all the like direct how to know if you're in X and Y and I still haven't got an aura ring. Whatever phase where you're just like bloated and kind of feel like shit. I'm currently in a collab with Miss Luteal phase. It feels like if I'm doing that math correctly of like how the timing works, I still need to educate myself on that. I'm kind of like hunched over because my camera, it's like, hey, what are we doing? A scoop of the energy surge. I'm doing a scoop of the strawberry kiwi stim free because I feel like since I'm wearing pink, my pre needs to be pink. It has to match. And then for caffeine, I am going to do a scoop of caffeinated rainbow sherbet. I still think that overall I am more of a fan. They're stim free versus they're caffeinated, but I like to use what I have, of course. And I do like how it tastes, except this is kind of getting a weird powdery. I don't know what that is. But in my little tiny one, less liquid. It helps me when I feel kind of bloated. I don't like to chug a bunch of water. Look, it's pink and we're gonna add some ice. Always mix before you add your ice, people, because if you add your ice, or at least I've found, if my drink is super cold and the powder stuff doesn't usually dissolve as well. My only complaint with this is just a personal thing of me just having no self-control. I'm a sipper. I just like to sip and drink things. You know how they have the nice pitchers of water? Like, can we do that with Daiko? Because I get eight refills. I'm always just sipping and drinking. That's also why I make my coffee. I just keep it black. That chocolate stuff is literally hot chocolate, but even before I got like the new, the Lion's Mane mushroom from Leech and stuff, that I put in my coffee. I just have my coffee black with maybe some stevia if I feel like it. Because if I make it too good, if I have coffee that's too sweet and too yummy, it will be gone in one sip. Especially if you go out to get it somewhere too, that's $8, it's half ice, like what are we doing? I just don't have any cadence when it comes to drinking things, I'm a sipper. So I have to really pace myself and not chug my drink because I get excited and I just wanna experience it now. And it's like, girl, 
Especially with caffeine, let's like be careful and take a step back here. I feel like a poodle. Whenever I wear black and pink, I feel like a poodle-y. Is pink a poodle? I don't know. Okay. And it matches my bag. Yay, let's go to the gym. We're starting with abs because I have the most energy. I've already gone through it twice. I've been doing it three times. The order of operations actually matters with this. I feel like when I start with ab roller, I don't feel it as well versus when I'm already a little bit fatigued. Usually I do weighted planks, but I'm gonna do unweighted and just do it for longer. So you start with your plank. I don't feel like getting a plate and like doing the whole thing the longer with regular. It's the same, I guess, if you were to do like a minute weighted with like two minutes unweighted. It's like kind of the same thing. Is the goal there? With any of my training stuff, y'all, the answer is what is helping you get to failure? Do that. That's the, that's the answer. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. Be safe. Planks, leg raises, dead bugs, ab rollers. Ab rollers last. And I can usually bust out like 15, 20 reps of ab roller, but these past two rounds that I just did, I literally could only do five because I, like, it hurts. You can feel it. I feel like that order is really solid. You should try it. It's just such a weird angle. I feel like I have a, like a wobble head. Hey, go boop. Yay, guys. Make sure with your planks, you're not like up. You know how to do a plank, like what the hell? Really go to failure on your last round is what's most important for me. My form starting to get shitty. Oh. Okay. And then. Okay, this is currently editing Haley again. You guys liked when I did my voiceovers last time. I'm not going to do them for every exercise in this vlog because I also kind of like having the raw footage of like Sam Sulik sort of vibes, if you will. But I did want to talk over my shoulder ones just because typically I don't even record these because it's in a it's a, it's in a spot in my gym where I'm a little nervy. Okay, so I'm real proud of myself. But with dumbbell shoulder press here, I really focus on keeping a strong core. My elbows are slightly in and I'm pushing upwards and then I superset that with lateral raises. So my form from this angle kind of looks iffy. I try to keep my elbows above my wrists, if that makes sense, which some people like doing it standing. I just do it sitting because I'm already sitting down, um, but I really focus on not too, too heavy and really pushing myself to failure, which you can kind of see depicted. And that's my shoulder moment. Yay. Reverse flies are taken right now. So we're just fucking around and finding out. I'm gonna do some leg raises. She's also up with my grip strength. Wants to know why the girls do that. And then for reverse flies, I like doing these on shoulder days or back days. It honestly just kind of depends on the vibe here. I don't do super heavy because your rear delts are a very small muscles, so you'll notice you probably can't go very heavy. But this is kind of what it looked like. I had to check, but I think it's about 20 minutes. Yeah. Level 12. That felt so good. I'm really proud of myself for filming my shoulders because I put my back like right around other people and it was fine. And it was over and it was okay and I'm safe. So, period. I am self sufficient. I deserve to be healthy, happy, and successful. By the way, that was such a good lift. We're gonna get a little pump check, take some pics for the gram, because that's girl head, and then head home and start my clients for the evening. I'm really glad that I actually went when I did. I feel good, I feel energized, and like ready to saddle up and ride a rodeo. I've always wanted to really ride those bulls. I just feel like I could do it, but I have this like movie moment in my head where, no, no. And then I hop on and I like make a world record. I don't know what that means. That's oh, literally yeah. not true. I just watched the movie Twisters and I'm thinking about that. Accountability check, let's go home. Happy hump day. I feel beautiful right now, but we're going to giant. Girlhood is just feeling pretty and then needing to go anywhere so that you like made use of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Not that it's performative, but like now I get to go to the store and show the world my prettiness at 10 in the morning on a Wednesday. My mommy comes home tomorrow and I always like to go to the store for her before she gets home so she comes home to like a full fridge moment. We don't need that many things. As much as it can be annoying for some people to like go frequently, I feel like smaller trips are better. And also because it's so fucking expensive, I feel like it just, even though it will add up probably to the same amount, 
It's just smaller loans at one time, you know? Giant has always always has really good strawberry deals, but you gotta check the bottom, because that's where they get you. Sometimes it's gooey already. But I don't think strawberries work like bananas do, where if they're greener, does that mean they get darker over time? I don't know the answer to that. These are pretty good. We don't need honey crisp apples, but just look how beautiful these are. You cannot tell me that that does not have wax on it somewhere. That looks AI. We're not getting any, but just look how pretty. Some potatoes, of course. Giant is the best place. To... Am I zoomed in right now? Yep, they're huge. These are sweet yams. This, do you see that? Look at this. So we gonna get some taters, of course. But you knew that. If I'm ever lost in the store, you know where to find me. Very general giant. That better not have broken what I thought it just did. Very general giant haul here. Had a lot of stuff already, which is kind of honestly, a lot of it's just vegetables. We're going top to bottom. Of the 647 toast, you guys know this is the bread that my family buys. It is keto. I am not keto, okay? But it's just always on sale. And I like it. So that's the bread that we get, bell peppers. I think the red ones taste the best, but it's cheaper to get like a pack. Look at that rainbow. I get big old bags of literally, usually it's green beans and broccoli. We're switching it up. No, we're not, we're literally not. Brussels sprouts. Actually, hot girls love Brussels sprouts. The best way for Brussels sprouts to be cooked is roasted in the oven. I never have time for that, but they're still so good. And I feel like whenever people think of Brussels sprouts, I feel like they think of like school lunch, like soupy, nasty. If you make it right, they're not gross, okay? Just grow up. Big old cuke, look how big this cuke is. This is like a dollar, hell yeah. Celery too, I just love celery. I love putting this in when I make like fillings of like tuna salad, uh, chicken salad, that, those potatoes that I made for my TikTok, those stuffed potatoes, so good. I don't know if I would put celery in that, but I just love adding this to everything literally ever. And then to get into some dairy, you know it's coming. We got three tubs of fly egg. Guys, we've reached three now because my mom comes home and she uses it too. So I got three. <laughs> Hey, week of, hey, grocery haul, hey, day haul. It actually wasn't a surprise, it was on sale. It was $5.99 for a tub instead of like $8.99, which is still, I'm being robbed right now, but like, here's my card information. I'm gonna take what I can get here and the fact that these were $5.99 a piece, which is like half of the bill, is bad, but better. Do you know what I mean? It's all about your mindset. The sharp cheddar, I like the shredded to have in burrito slice, sharp cheddar as well, because sometimes for sandwiches, that's better. It just kind of depends on the vibe. Strawberries, I got a big old thing. Not even the yogurt toast, but just yogurt bowls with a bunch of fruit in it is so yummy. Me. So refreshing. It's like you took a shower. Sugar-free syrup. I put that on my taters. And speaking of taters, you know damn well we got some taters, except the bag kind of broke. Four or five potatoes as well. And then the last thing that I got, apple cider vinegar. I've been taking this for like three, four years. I just dilute it and I've taken it every single day. Is it gross? Yes. Does it smell bad? Yep. Does it taste good? No. But really good for your gut and just clearing your shit out, okay? Please dilute this if you decide to take it because you can take it straight. I think I could take a shot of tequila better than I could take a shot of this, all right? Let me just tell you that. Grand total of that was $75. Oh my God, they literally called my cucumbers cukes. They're called English cukes. Okay, that's cutie. But that was my giant haul. I thought I would show you guys a good general rundown, but I really get the same kind of shit every single time. We didn't get much meat. We usually buy it when it's on sale more in bulk and then freeze it. You freeze things that are on sale, it lasts a lot longer. And that's helped save money as well. That's what I got from Giant. My banana quesadilla wrap is air frying right now, actually, because I have a little bit of time, but I'm getting ready for the gym because I ended up booking up. Me and my friends... Hello. My friends and I are going to dinner tonight and I was planning on going to the gym right before dinner just because it's right next to where we're going and that just made the most sense but I ended up booking some more calls during that time so I'm gonna go in the time that I have just in case because we move in just in case mine's that okay. <coughs> Salty bananas. We need to find a name for her. I don't know but it's in the air fryer right now and I'm just kind of getting ready for the gym. We're gonna do some legs today. I'm really excited. And honestly blessing in disguise here because I think I work the best under pressure in a way of like not stress but just a time crunch sort of thing. So I do have more of a time constraint doing it right now, but I feel like that actually might be better for me. I don't really know. That's literally all the makeup that I'm doing. I'm not really gonna do any. I'm probably gonna put my hair in a bun, honestly, at one some point, but. The Impact Shorts in Lunar Rock. I love this color. It's a little bit greeny, kind of. And then this is the uh, Impact Bra. It has the open back as well. I think I am gonna put on a sweatshirt though, because something about hitting legs with a sweatshirt on, I don't really know the math there. Queen in the air fryer back there, behind the scenes of my, I guess it's kind of like, I wanna call it a churro, just because of the form, but it's really not a churro. I don't know what the hell it is. We go make our drink. I'm gonna do a scoop of the Stim Free Tropical Punch. Even though it is a lot earlier in my day than I thought I would live, I do just like their, their Stim Free better. A scoop of the Energy, and then I'm gonna do a scoop of the Rainbow Sherbet. This has caffeine in it as well, but just of the regular caffeinated. I just like mixing, and I haven't tried this combo, and you guys, you know what to expect when it comes to me. You know, that was chunky and did not look good at all. It's kind of brown. It's giving creek but that's okay. It's kind of a rainy, muggy day. I feel like that's on brand somehow. I don't know. 
smells really good. The Tropical Punch is such a good flavor. I don't mean to talk about things a lot, but it truly, if you can't tell through my like food fixations, I will eat it or do it or whatever until I can't anymore. And I love it, so that's that. I'm bringing my Amazon gray hoodie to put on top, I think. Um, I don't care. I'm filming this for my what I eat in a day right now. Say hi. Yeah, this is so good. Best pre-workout snack. See you in the gym. Okay, very quick pump check because we are indeed in a rush and I did not film everything that I did, but I feel pretty good. But I want to show you, good luck. I don't usually have the posing room to myself, so we're trying to take advantage. I did hip thrusts, RDLs, the reverse lunges you saw, kickbacks, abduction, abdunk, abductions, and calf raises. A little bit higher volume than what I usually do, mostly in a rush and I didn't, like have time to set up a camera. So we have a client call in about 30 minutes. Pretty good lift. Honestly, kind of tired. Um, <laughs> real, I mean, I just worked out, so I'm trying not to give myself a hard time about it. I am self-sufficient, I'm not perfect, and that's okay. Did you hear that? You heard that. I feel like it's been a hot bit and it's been a single day. Yesterday was a whirlwind, let me tell you. So it's been tornadoing in my area. I think there was hurricanes, so it's been so rainy, whatever. And so yesterday I was like, I need to lock in, and I got a good, good chunk of my podcast done, and I'm gonna try to finish that up today. I got clients in the evening. I went to the gym, I ended up going way later, just at like a chest and back moment. So it is Friday now, and I can see dandruff in my hair. Good morning. It does smell good. I put like a leave in when I put it in braids last night. If you can't tell, I'm just gonna put it in a slick back because I'm gonna definitely wash it for my mom's birthday dinner tomorrow I'm getting ready for spin class and it's still super rainy and so i'm honestly like really looking forward to it. my favorite weather yeah i like a sunny day rainy i can just stay inside and get so much done and can you do that when it's sunny yes but you get it usually i spit on sundays and it's friday however recently i've been changing my split around to just what makes the most sense and i was really stressed out on my sundays and i've been doing legs on sunday instead of on saturday and i really really enjoy it i do love my spin classes so i'm doing my spin classes on Friday and resting tomorrow. I mean, I still have my spin class once a week. Like it doesn't really matter, but I love the instructor that does the Friday spin classes. It's kind of convenient from spin to Huckley. He's on the way home from my gym. I'm so excited because I feel like I haven't seen him in forever. Overall, I feel really good. Yesterday was super productive. Here's the thing that's frustrating. Sometimes I'll like be journaling about my day and I'm like, I actually had a great day. Like, wow, I don't know what was different, but everything went so well. And I'm like, okay, but I feel like I only feel that way when I'm super productive. I should kind of leave it and it's, I was going to braid it, but that's kind of cute. I'm like, imagine when I myself spitting. I always feel the best when I'm super productive and that's great when I'm super productive. Okay, and then on days where I'm like, today was awful. What did I do? And I'm like, oh, I didn't do anything. But it's like, that's not what life is, you know? So I'm trying to like be okay with just surviving. But literally this time next week, I'm gonna be at the beach. I'm trying to just look forward to things and let the future things be future things. So I asked my dad, my tire pressure is low and he said he was gonna fix it before I went to spin class. I don't think he did that. I'm girl boss, can do it on my own, but also if you're gonna offer, you can do it. You know what I mean? And I don't think he did it. So I might take my mom's car because my tire's at like 26, which is fine. Thing that like, I feel like I have bad luck and I curse everything I touch. I don't, but like that's just how my brain works. And so I feel like even though it's like totally fine, somehow I will ruin it. And I'm gonna drive there and just blow up. So the girl that teaches this specific spin class, I love her so much and I'm all, I always get a real good sweat in in there. So I don't really want to put that much makeup on. So that, I just wanted to gel my hair, I guess. But this is kind of the fit I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my big, the heavyweight hoodie. I love it. You you guys now I get compliments every single time that I wear it. So if you're gonna get it, like you need it in your life. It's so, uh, and then I'm wearing the black, it's like the t-shirt sort of thing. I should put deodorant on. These are the impact shorts in like a grayish, they're like the gray, the, I think it's like slate. Code Haley C, you guys know the vibes. I'll definitely take off my sweatshirt when I'm going to the spin class. Don't you worry, but it's raining and I feel like I'm learning so much and then I just talk about what I'm learning. I don't mean to like use my videos as like a lecture, but truly you guys, I was so stressed about August and is it still stressful? A little bit, okay, a little bit. How However, as it's happening to me, it's not that bad. And I feel like that is what life is, is just thinking things are so much worse and then you do it and it's like, oh, that was literally fine. We're literally fine. 
Yay, so how are you doing? And I just had my banana burrito. If you guys know Higher Up Wellness, he's one of my good mutuals. He slid up on one of my things. He was like, that looks so unhinged. And I was like, this is my treat to keto. And he was like, Trakito. Maybe that's what I should call it. He said Trakito, that he owns that, but I was thinking like banana burrito. Trakito is, it's a smaller word, but it's kind of hard to say. <sighs> and one thing about me, I'm gonna mess up my words every chance I get, every chance, literally evidence. Funny thing about posting yourself online, can I speak a word? Posting yourself online. So I have, here's the thing. I'm gonna be talking about, I'm gonna be open and honest with you guys about one of my biggest insecurities. I'm just gonna go downstairs, by the way. We're not gonna cut the clip because I don't feel like it. Okay. It's not in one of my biggest insecurities. Growing up, I had a really bad speech impediment, okay? I could not say my R's. I wanna go to the call. Like, can we go? Like, I literally spoke like that. And I never went to speech therapy. Because I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm stubborn. There's one thing about me. I'm gonna do it myself. So I never went to speech therapy, even though I desperately needed to do that and I think as a result of that I don't know if this is how this works by the way I could be completely wrong if you were a speech pathologist I'm genuinely curious that this is the right math there a scoop of the blueberry lemonade and then fruit punch that's literally disgusting I did take care of my R one because of that or whatever I kind of have a small one with my S's very small, very subliminal. I'm not insecure about it. I used to be insecure about it, but I don't think that people can necessarily notice. Sometimes, sometimes when I get really focused or excited about things, it comes out more. And I posted my recipe with, I don't remember if it was my chocolate covered strawberries or my potato one. And somebody commented, your lisp is so cute. I'm like, it's healing to me because I'm like, okay, my inner child, like I do think it is cute, but there's also that part of me that's like, that that confirms, oh, you can tell. Because sometimes I don't think it's, I had asked Nick, I was like, yeah, you know how that I have a lisp? He was like, no, I've never noticed that. I was like, oh. Sometimes when you get comments like that, I'm like, oh, so it is very noticeable. But I think it's cute, so I don't really care. But there are things that you might think about yourself and people will comment then. I'm like, I'm not hallucinating great. But that's okay. Kind of a cute color. I mixed, I guess it's like red and, and blue, so it makes purple. We are in art class right now. I'm gonna add some ice to this. Code Haley for Legion. No vibes. I might also add a scoop of the energy surge. I really like the energy surge. I still don't know if it's a placebo. I mean, my placebo powders. All right, listen. It's fun, okay? It's fun and it's all unnecessary and you knew that. But I, damn. Okay, good morning. My affirmations right now, I am enough. Difficult paths lead to the most beautiful destinations. And that's on period. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, because it's a new month, I have to have a new lock screen so that I feel like a new person. This is what I changed my lock screen to. I found this on Pinterest. Isn't that fun and cool? So look, it's 8.50. I have my tornado watch right there <laughs> that we are ignoring. How fun is that? That's me and Nick up there. Isn't that fun and fresh? That's August. It's a color. It's a literally different color. I love changing my background first thing of the month. It makes you feel new and if that's gonna make you smile, how fun is that and easy and free? We had like tornado spinning and then we're gonna spin like a tornado. Not everything needs to be a connection. Like We're in the room right now. I have my bike right here. I need to get spin shoes so bad. <laughs> That's one of my things that I'm saving up for. This is what the rooms look like. This is really cool lighting. Wow. Okay. So we're just going to adjust this. Like hip height. I'm taking the sweatshirt off. Like right now. Rainy, that was such a good play. Look, like, handsome. Hey. But boy, does she whip my ass every single time. Here's the thing about slickbacks. Does it still work if your ponytail, you can delete your weather app. If you ever need, I'm like that girl from Mean Girls. If you ever need to know what the humidity is, just look at my ponytail. Do slickbacks still look, I'm deciding actually that slickbacks still look good even when your hair is riding the magic school bus. Hello, Miss Frizzle. We're just letting Huckley out on the way and then I start my clients when I get home. I've been moving around my split and just playing around with it and been a lot more flexible with my routine. So I love the Friday class. It's a nice way to kind of get to exert to end my week. One thing that I wrote on my budget planner from last vlog, once I filled it out, because that, that's personal, okay? I want to get spin shoes so bad, but they're like $130. I know that I would use them, but I'm still like, it's just shoes. Like I can, if I can not get them, because technically, yeah, you can just spin in whatever shoes you have. You can probably do a barefoot, honestly, if you try. Don't challenge me, because I will be doing that probably eventually. Like I know I would use them, but there's that part of me that's like, if it's not necessary, why would you waste your money? But I do that. It also is just really good for your ankles, like stability, having spin shoes that actually lock in, because when you use regular tennis shoes, you have put your foot in these things called cages. It is like raining, raining. And I hope that my camera doesn't get broken, but I'm debating between getting black and white. I think I would get black. I like white shoes, but they're just, they just get so dirty that I think I would get black. The brand that everybody has 
whatever, T-I-E-M-T-M -E shoes. So I'm gonna look into that, I'm saving in, maybe that'll be like my little August purchase when I get back from vacation, depending on how much I spend on vacation. I don't know how much. Cutie little beach shop shopping, and also I want crab legs. So we're gonna take a loan out to get some spin shoes. Good boy. Happy Saturday, it's my mother's birthday. Everyone wish Phil's happy birthday right now. Okay, cool, thanks. We're going out for dinner tonight. Today's my rest day, super excited, but I wanted to do a little unboxing because my Define clothes came in and I have a few other little things that I'm really excited about showing you guys. Kind of crooked? Okay, whatever. So Define has a whole new launch and they launched that I am so freaking excited to show you guys is they have bandos. They got bandos and listen, I don't have boobs, so I feel like that's kind of my moment. That's very skin showy to me. I feel like support wise, obviously you wouldn't go for a run in it, but I am so excited now. I've never tried them before, so I got a bunch of the bandos. Oh, I am so excited. My knees just creaked. That's how excited I am I auditorily responding to that. So I got three colors, medium and everything. I'm a little bit nervous about this just because I don't have boobs, but I have a back, I think. So I got a medium just as my safe size. And then my game plan here is I will dry these if they're too big. This is from the Ignite collection that they have. This is the color in clay. And if you can see, it has this really cool speckled sort of like transitional color thing on it. And see it easier on the other colors. This is Ignite in flamingo pink. Look how pretty this color is. Are you fucking kidding? Look at the, you see how it's like speckly? Look how cute that is. Oh my God, I wanna go to the mall in that. Aqua blue, aqua, we're in H2O. Kind of like a cyan for the darker speckled parts. Beautiful. For shorts, I got a pair of the Flamingo Pink Ignite shorts. I've never tried one of their Ignite. I can already tell right off the bat the texture. Texture? Is this Food Network? Are we unchopped right now? The material is very different. It feels a lot thinner and the scrunch looks a lot different. So I don't know how I'm gonna like these, but I just loved the color of them and they have the darker pink within that. And I really wanna try these as well. I love black sports bras just because most of my shorts, <clears throat> can I be a person? Most of my shorts are colored. So sometimes it's, it's nice to have more neutral top. So I wanted to get another black one and from their Ignite, they have this in charcoal, just a cool, I haven't, I don't have a bra like this yet. That looks like kind of has like little three. How fun is that? Guys. Do you see this right now? <gasps> Look at this. Okay, this is the flamingo pink. And these are the ignite shorts. You can see it says define on it. As for the butt scrunch, even though it's a lot different, it is still so fun. Oh, the camera can't even handle the gains. Okay, hold on. But are you kidding me right now? Best way that I can describe this texture, it's so much thinner than all the other ones, but it feels like I'm naked right now. I think they changed their formula or whatever, Plankton SpongeBob, but this, they are so, so flattering and the scrunch doesn't feel like tight up my asshole, you know, which is nice. I was a little bit nervous about getting the medium, but it has the padding and I don't feel like this is gonna fall at all. Cute little cross in the back, can you see that? Okay, first of all, good morning. I'm gonna keep the shorts on and try on the other tops just with it, cause it's the only shorts that I got. Aqua bandeau in size medium in the Ignite cross in the back, still super cute. Kind of a cute color combo, like cotton candy-ish. It's a little greener than bluer. It's like t a very teal. I mean, it's okay, it's aqua, but you know what I'm saying. Doing flies and like, you can like see, <sighs> how fun. Fun way to showcase what you built yourself, you know? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try the other one in clay. It's kind of that nudie color. Once I get back from the beach, I feel like this is gonna look so good with tan lines. It has the cross in the back also. I really don't feel like I'm going anywhere. Okay, this is so cool. I've never owned like gym bandos. I never thought that I'd have the confidence to do that, but good thing confidence is a mindset. And who the hell cares? Do I have boobs? No, but I got pecs and I grew those. So I'm gonna show them off. I think medium is true to size for me. I don't feel like I'm gonna risk something slipping out, but I also don't have a bigger chest. So I'm curious if you have bigger boobs, if you would wanna size down, or I guess you would size up of what you normally would, just so that it's tight enough and it feels secure. But I also don't think that when it comes, like if you're running a marathon, this isn't probably your moment, but if it's just like resistance training, I feel like this would be such a fun thing to do on like chest day or like shoulder day or something like that. The Ignite Black Bra and Charcoal and you guys, I can't describe to you fabric. I really like the back. It has like a different kind of cross than what it usually is. I'm so bad at describing like things that aren't like food. It's so soft. It's not spandexy at all. It's a way different feel than the dynamic and impact stuff where it's a little bit thicker, more spandex-like. It feels like I'm literally wearing nothing. This is so soft. I'm just gonna keep this on because it's really comfortable. Guys, it's like literally so comfortable. Yeah, I always try to get some socks because Bentley chews all my socks and they really do have like the best socks. I had a lot of their ankle ones, Revive socks. No, like more tall socks, like Nike socks kind of thing. I like having black. They're really good quality socks. And here's what I'm actually most excited about. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for supporting me and everything. I have needed a new gym bag for a very hot minute. And if there's one thing about me, I'm not buying something unless I genuinely need it. Okay. My current gym bag that I have is right here. This is all reliable. This is my gym bag that I've had my whole gym journey. This is Mater and she's from Gymshark. And listen, she absolutely still holds all of my stuff. But if you can see, um, 
She is a little bit tethered. Listen, aren't we all? She still holds my stuff. So I was not gonna get a new gym bag until I could not hold my stuff in here. This is supposed to be here. It hasn't opened completely yet, but there are holes starting to form right in between where my clothes are in there. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like a matter of time until I am spewing tampons all over the gym. As much as I absolutely love and thank you so much for your service, Define actually came out with bags. And when I saw that on the website, I just about squealed because I love her, but it's a little, I think it's time. So we're going to kindly thank you so much for your service. And I got the duffel bag. They had two colors. They had a pink one and a navy one. And look, this is, this is so beautiful. Oh, look at this bag. It's a deep navy blue. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Guys, look, I got a bag. I know damn well, this used to be such a cutie light pink color. And then now it looks like it just got sat on. Like it gets dirty really easily. So I really wanted to get the darker color so you wouldn't see all the dirt when you like throw it around the gym all the time. It's not like fabric that it would absorb dirt. I don't really know the leather math. This is not real leather, but so it says define. It's like a little circle. This is so, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful right now. This is so cool to me. My initial, I'm like, it comes with salt. It smells like new car. I can't get this little thing off, but this is to have the bigger strap and then it has silver what is it appliances come on best bar come on ikea you get a big old chamber a little compartment in the middle there let nobody define you and these are what the little zippers look like can you see that guys i get zippers again i didn't have zippers on these because they fell off we'll see if this passes the haley test this is really a, a durable bag of just how much i throw my shit around but i'm so excited about this but that's all that i got from define this go around i'm so grateful i do have a code haley c if you'd like to support me but truly this brand i mean the quality it speaks for itself and you might not believe me when I tell you that, but it's truly, truly, truly amazing. So I'm so grateful for that. And then I got two other little things that I wanted to show you guys. It's not really that exciting of an unboxing for this one, but Nick and I are going to the beach. Everyone and their damn mothers and brothers have disposable cameras. So I got one off of Amazon. This is my knee just cracked again, by the way. Kodak Pix Pros FZ55. I haven't uh, like really tried it out yet. I don't know how to get the pictures from this on my actual phone. And one of my, when I went to Chipotle with my friends, she's like, oh, you need an SD card reader. So I got an SD card reader off of Amazon. It has an SD card and it has a battery. And then once I take the pictures on it, use it. I put the SD card in here and I plug it into my phone and that's how I'm gonna get my pictures for vacation. That's not really that exciting, but that's what I got. So unboxing there. And then here's something that I'm very, very excited about. Okay, Jill, if you are watching this, I love you, girl. After my last vlog, I talked about how one of my big purchases that I was thinking about getting myself was an Apple Watch and not because of like tracking steps or anything like that, but just because I'm really trying to focus on being more present. And I know it sounds kind of silly swapping one technology for another piece of technology, but like when I go on my walks, for example, I keep my phone on me for safety purposes. For music, I like, respond to clients if I need to, but I'm holding my phone and I just kind of wanted the freeness of just having a watch so that I can still text people, I can still change my music and stuff, but I'm not like holding my phone. Yeah, cool. The steps are great. I don't really care about that. I've never tracked my exercise or anything to be like, I don't really care about that. But this beautiful soul, Jill, if you're watching this, she reached out to me. She was like, hey, I got a, she got a Garmin, I believe. The other one is. It's either Garmin or Whoop. I feel like they're all the same thing. I don't really know. I'm not using my Apple Watch. Do you want it? Are you kidding me? Are you, is that a joke? I don't even know what to say. And I think this is it because this has my name on it. And I don't, I'm not going to show her address. It's Guys, it's literally, it's literally pink. I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. She wrote me a, stop, no stop. I didn't even read the, I was crying cause I'm about to cry cause it's just pink. I haven't even read this. Okay, hold on. First of all, her handwriting is amazing. Wow. Y'all. <laughs> I just left the camera from zooming in. What are we doing? What are we doing? Chat? I am so grateful right now. Thank you, Jillian. That was the kindest thing ever. It's pink. She left that detail out. I don't know anything about Apple Watches. <laughs> she has the charger too, I think. Put it on, is it even gonna work right away? I don't know how any of this works. Series six. Again, I don't know anything about Apple Watches. I can't even explain the gratitude that I have for everything. Not even for the, the freaking watch. It's not the principle. It's you guys are so kind to me and so supportive and you look to help me in ways that I don't even know I need help. And I don't mean that in by sending me fucking technology. I mean reaching out to me, telling me that I'm loved and giving me, I'm a big positive affirmations girly. If you can't tell they're on my mirror, they're yapped about all the time. And so to hear that, not that I depend on it, but it's so nice and I would not be fucking anywhere that I am. As if I'm like, I'm not that special, but you know what I'm saying, without your support. And I have literally no words besides thank you. Yay, I can finally be somebody in spin class when they say, turn on your watches. Okay.
I'm just so grateful. So that's everything that I got today, my little unboxing. So heartwarming and it's my mom's birthday and we're gonna go out to dinner tonight and I'm having a good hair day and I'm just high. So I think to ride that high I might make some potatoes too. Yay and thank you. Nick is on his way right now. My family's all about to leave and go for my mom's birthday dinner. But I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing because I never, you guys know, whenever I get dressed up, hi, I'm showing you right now. This is a dress from, I'm not exaggerating, seventh grade, but I found it and it's pretty cute. It's from American Eagle, I remember. It's just this cute little sundress and this is very like middle school coated of, it's what I have. I don't really have that many dresses that are like casual. I didn't put on any makeup and honestly, this is not to sound conceited at all, but I, I'm really just content with how I look without it. Is it disrespectful to not wear makeup or is that like, did I make that up? I don't really know. The skin is kind of skinning, if you will. So I didn't have any makeup on besides my Too Faced lip injection and Strawberry Kiss is my favorite lip gloss. Also having a good hair day. So that's nice. And look, <laughs> look at that. Look at the, look at the. It like lights up for me, so fun. It'll probably be the end of my vlog just cause we're going out for dinner tonight and then tomorrow, usually when I edit and upload. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I love you so, so much. I hope you're kind to yourself always and embrace your natural shit. And is that kind of hypocritical? Cause my hair is literally dyed, maybe, but just like fundamentally you get it and you deserve to feel good in your skin. Okay, I love you so much and go get big.